Well, good afternoon. And we welcome you to the uh, Great Lakes Music Festival. Just a few, um, uh, a little bit of a background for you parents that might not know. But 32 years ago, Monty Budal and I went to a conference, and it was somewhat like this. And after the conference, the leadership said, we're not going to do this anymore. Um, they just didn't think it was tenable. And so uh, Dr. Budal said, you know, we could do something like that here. Enjoyed these big kind of festival things growing up, but you didn't get to do it very often. And he said, we need to do something like that for our students. To give them up the experience of singing in a large choir or a men's chorus or an orchestra. Some of these uh, students from small schools that aren't able to do that, or if they're homeschooled, they don't have that opportunity. And so that was his vision. This is the 30th iteration. We had to cancel one year uh, for COVID, but uh, we're here and we're just excited to be able to do that. And I feel, uh, most of you know, but uh, Dr. Budal and Mrs. Budal passed away earlier this week. And he was, he was talking to me on Sunday when I was in and on, and uh, we, we tell him, you know, Great Lakes is this weekend. All these people are coming and he was very excited. And so it was a very sweet thing. And so I just like to uh, uh, start with a word of prayer and then we'll go ahead and start. Thank you, Lord, uh, for Dr. Budal and Mrs. Budal's vision for all the work that went by behind the scenes to make this come to be. And Lord, thank you for a quality staff that work so hard together and that really have um, tried to follow his example of humble leadership. And so Lord, I pray that you bless everything that happens today and that may it be, uh, give you glory in what we do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let me explain the program just a little bit to you. Uh, we, we've done this enough times that we've tried to streamline everything as much as possible. So here's what happens. We do three things, the band, piano, ensembles, and ladies chorus, and then there's a short break, and then we do orchestra, offertory, men's chorus, and then there's a short break, and then we do the festival chorus. I will get up and say something about the offertory when it's time. But that's, that's how the program is uh, 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 slated for here. So three things, sort of a break, three more things, a break, and then the final chorus, final uh, grouping. So without further ado, the band. Uh, my name is Andrew Bonima. I am the assistant director of the band. Uh, Dr. Brown will be up here in just a minute to conduct a couple other pieces. Um, but if this is my first year here, and so um, I hope you enjoy what we're going to play. Our first piece is titled Chant in Jubilo. It is a, uh, a slower first movement and then a much quicker ending. Hope you enjoy it.
Nothing like saving the best performance of that for the concert. That was really very good. It's intricate. It's an intricate piece and uh, kind of has a lot of moving parts. And so well done, band. The, the uh, theme of Great Lakes this year is musical gems. So all three of the band pieces come from the standard band repertoire. These are pieces that you would hear at an all-state band festival anywhere in the country. They're on the required list in a lot of states uh, for high school bands when they go and compete. The second piece is Claire Grunman's Kentucky 1800. It's based on three American folk songs. Bound for the Promised Land, you may know. Cindy, Cindy, you may not know, but you might recognize the tune when you hear it. And the third one is I'm Sad and I'm Lonely. We hope these kids don't feel that way, but that's the name of the tune. So it's a classic. This piece has been around for a long, long time. Kentucky 1800.
band will conclude our portion with the E.E. E. Bagley's National Emblem. National Emblem March was written in 1902, and it's become a standard in the U.S. It's played everywhere. Um, you can hear a little bit of the Star Spangled Banner in there. If you listen in the first uh, verse, the low brass play that. John Philip Sousa was asked, what, what are your top three marches? He said, well, that's easy. Two of them are my own. The third is Bagley's National Emblem. And that's saying something if you get Sousa's stamp of approval. So uh, we'll close with the National Emblem March. And thank you for coming today, by the way.
together a lovely uh, medley of Irish blessings. So hopefully within the midst of the lyrics of this song, maybe you'll find an Irish blessing that you have maybe on a plaque in your home and they're blended together very beautifully for you. And we wish this blessing, these blessings upon you. I know in, during this cold weather, I'm not really very fond of critters from the outside finding my house or the walls between uh, and my house for their home. But this song is about a bunch of critters that are looking for a home. I do not wish them upon your home. Uh, it's an acute blending of several different folk songs, animal song, the bull weevil song, the crawdad song, hop old squirrel and froggy went a courtin'. They're all looking for a home.
personally am very, very grateful to the impact that Dr. Woodall had on my life as a student here and as co-workers here at Maranatha. It's been a, a huge, huge blessing uh, the, uh, as a teacher and a comrade and uh, a kindred spirit. And this next piece uh, I dedicated to him, uh, an arrangement of Be Still My Soul. Back in the early days, Dr. Woodall arranged everything for every group, I think, pretty much, that uh, performed for Great Lakes. He was always didn't want to cost too much money to the school, etc. cetera. And uh, at some point, he allowed me to start choosing to pick the pieces for the ladies' chorus and to arrange their, the pieces that they played on the tone chimes. I was grateful for that because right down to the last minute, the morning before, he was saying, Louise is marking all the parts for their notes. And, and it was always ready, and what a blessing. They were a team, and that was uh, so sweet. If you'll permit me to tell one little story from back in the day, uh, they had just gotten married. And <clears throat> I was a student, and I was in a practice room. In fact, Leo, it's your office. The, it's the, the humanities office now. It was a practice room, and I was pooped. And I was just laying there with my head down on the piano keyboard. Well, she saw me in there, and she thought I was bemoaning the fact that I had just broken up with a guy. I was not bemoaning that particular breakup. But she came to me thinking that she knew the source of my uh, posture, and she said, don't worry, Carol. It's worth the wait when the right one comes along. <laughs> and she was speaking from experience. She had gotten the right one, Dr. Budal. And from my experience, I can say it was worth the wait also to get the right one. So be still my soul in honor of Dr. Budal.
Okay, so this is the first of our uh, little breaks, so feel free to just stand up while we just change gears here just a little bit. Just be a couple minutes. Thanks.
Okay, if you'd find your seats, please. My name is Melody Steinbart. I had the joy of working with the strings, and they were so much fun to work with. We got a lot accomplished. Uh, in the just the last 24 hours that we were together. Our first piece is uh, the first movement of Vivaldi's Spring, a very standard work. Hope you enjoy it. <clears throat>
two, we have two pieces that are part of a set of English folk songs set by John Rudder. Typically, Rudder is known for his choral works, but he beautifully set these uh, string orchestra arrangements. The first one is Oh Wally Wally. You might recognize it as an alternate tune for Amazing Grace. The other one is a piece called Dashing Away.
final piece, uh, we have uh, several of the band members that graciously came and joined us for a piece by Dwight Gustafson called Camp Meeting. It is a set of collections from the t uh, of tunes from the, the movie that Bob Jones put on, which is called Sheffy. Um, you'll hear Camp Meeting, um, Brethren We Have Met to Worship, several other folk tunes in here.
Great Lakes start, thank you. The night before Great Lakes start, we have a piano competition. And we always feature the winner of the piano competition at this time um, in the program. And so our winner this year is Josiah Magalon, and he played a wonderful piece, and he's gonna play that for us uh, as we receive an offering. If you can help us, please do. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the time. Thank you for all of these uh, students and parents, and thank you uh, for uh, Josiah as well, and just guide in every respect. Thank you for your goodness to us, in Jesus' name, amen.
Man, I'm tired now. Wow. That was amazing. Well done. Hey, it's been, isn't this been a delightful time? We've had a great time with the guys. Thank you so much, guys. For this. Wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be great if we could just keep doing this for like five days? You can. This June, we are having music and drama camp for five days. We will have the tracks. We'll have the band track and the orchestra strings track. We'll have the piano track and we'll have the drama part. I think they're doing the Sound of Music, the stage crew track. So all week long, I get to preach every night to you all. So please come this summer. It's the middle of June. You can register as of February 15th on our website. We would love to have you come. Well, our theme, again, is musical gems. Now, we've, we've had a great time with these guys. We're going to start off with an old, a golden oldie, and it's entitled, Let Me Call You Sweetheart. Guy's voice is wonderful to listen to. Yeah, thank you for that hand. Oh, oh, okay. thank you. That's, that's really good. Uh, Mr. Wright. Um, um, yeah, Josiah. Um, we were talking, and we think that we might have led these fine folks astray. Yeah. Yeah. Most of us don't really like, much less love, girls. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we would like to straighten things up with our own version. Okay. Let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with your machine. Let me hear you whisper that you'll buy the gasoline. Keep the headlights glowing and your hands up on the wheel. Let me call you sweetheart, I'm in love with your Mr. Wright. Uh, yeah, Eric? I've got this problem. Oh, no. okay. There's this girl, and she really likes me, oh, and I can't get rid of her. Oh. I've um, tried everything. What did you try? I've tried bad breath. <laughs> I've tried drooling. <laughs> I've even tried the silent treatment, oh, and, yeah, and nothing seems to work. What? what should I do? We've got some advice for Eric. But logic, after all, is fundamental. So this baffling question I must ask of you. How can I miss you if you won't go away? Far, far away from me. How can I breathe if you won't leave?
As you can see, we've had a lot of fun this week. But you know, with our theme of musical gems, we just want to close with a song that reminds us of what God values. God actually calls a certain type of person valuable, and that is the lost person. Jesus gave three parables, the parable of the lost coin, the prodigal son, and uh, one other, the lost coin. What was the other one? Oh, the sheep. Thank you, the lost sheep. Those parables all point to the fact that God loves the sinner, and so should we. We need to remember that the gospel is precious, and God values deeply the unsaved and wants them to come to himself. Okay, last little break, so you can be standing and then students will get in position. Thank you.
All right, we are, we are ready to, to uh, finish our program here with the festival choir. My name is Mark Herbster. I'm so thankful for the privilege of working together here at Maranatha with so many wonderful, uh, wonderful co-workers and colleagues. I think it'd be appropriate for us to be, give a big round of applause for our music faculty and staff here at Maranatha. I personally am very, very blessed by working with these great people, but I'm also very blessed to work with an outstanding group of students here at Maranatha Baptist University. Most of you don't realize, maybe you do, but there's a whole bunch of them up here, and I just want them to stand because I want to honor them because they're giving some of their Saturday here. Stand up students, students of Maranatha. We are so thankful for their servant leadership and uh, stepping right in with these high school students. Incredible to see so many churches represented here with all these high schoolers. I've met several of you pastors out there as well. Thankful for your investment in these students. This is teamwork. Teamwork is uh, really on display with this massive choir and this orchestra. We had one Lone Ranger, that was Josiah. He was playing at the piano by himself, okay? But teamwork is, is what it's all about. And I've had the privilege of working together in the last year on a project here at Maranatha that was a musical recording. And that was the teamwork with Dr. Ledgerwood and Dr. Brown. I was the producer along with many of these students that just stood. And uh, we produced an outstanding recording that we have available for you in the lobby after the concert. And we're making a special deal for you for $12 for one CD, or if you buy more than one, you can get them for $10, as many as you'd like to purchase. And uh, we hope that that'll be a blessing to you. We also have the CD available on iTunes. So if you're, if you're like, I don't buy CDs anymore, then you can go to iTunes or Amazon. Uh, there's a picture of the CD on the screen, and it's a wonderful CD. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This CD was on purpose done with selections that would bring great comfort to us during the crisis that we are facing in our country with COVID and all the problems that has caused. We need to look to God, don't we? We need him to be in charge of our lives. So great songs on there, some familiar like, Holy, 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 It Is Well With My Soul, How Great Thou Art, And Can It Be. And then a number of brand new songs, the title song, Come Unto Me, from the text that Jesus, that I just quoted that Jesus said. Hope it'll be a blessing to you. Take a look at it, and uh, if you'd like to get the CD today, special deal for you, or look at it online. But I uh, wanted to just make that announcement to you that's available uh, right after the concert. I'm gonna turn it back over to uh, Dr. Brown, my good friend, and he's gonna tell you what's happening with the festival choir. Okay, thanks, buddy. What's happening is we're gonna sing with the festival choir now, and it's gonna be amazing. We started, you know, 24 hours ago, and it sounded like, you know, 160 voices all singing in different times and volumes, and the Lord has just gelled this group. It was that way with every group you heard today, and it's amazing how teachable these kids are. They're a testament to you. So thank you, parents and grandparents, for bringing these guys. Bring them this summer and bring them next year to Great Lakes. We're going to begin with Mark Hayes' uh, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah.
Our final selection is a uh, Jesu Cristo Mokozi. Mokozi is Swahili, and it means Jesus, our pr protector, preserver. And uh, Dr. Woodall wrote this in '95 for Great Lakes, and it's been one of his most uh, beloved songs. Uh, we've done it numbers and numbers of times. Uh, he wrote it after a missions trip to Kenya. And he heard the people singing this after a church service as they were leaving to go back to their huts, you know, so that kind of a thing. So uh, our solos is, is Sam Robertson, and we're going to sing Jesu Cristo Mokozi. Jesu Christo Mokosi, Jesu Christo Mokosi, Jesu Christo Mokosi, Asi Fiwe, Jesu Christo Mokosi, Jesu Christo Mokosi, Jesu Christo Mokosi, Asi Fiwe, Alleluia.
Alleluia. Jesus bled and died for me. Jesus bled and died for me. Jesus bled and died for me. Oh, praise his name. Jesus bled and died for me. Jesus bled and died for me. Jesus bled and died for me. Oh, praise his name. Alleluia. Jesus hears me when I pray. Jesus hears me when I pray. Jesus hears me when I pray. I praise His name. Jesus hears me when I pray. Jesus hears me when I pray. Jesus hears me when I pray. I praise His name. Alleluia. Christo mokosi, Jesu Christo mokosi, Jesu Christo mokosi, very special. Thank you. Um, by the way, Sam's Dr. Budo's grandson. So that worked out. Um, so this, we have to transition to practical things. So um, uh, uh, if you can help us, uh, we've got to clear the gym out very quickly uh, because we have a basketball game. And so uh, we don't, but there's a basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want me playing on your basketball team. So, uh, so what, what we need to do is, and the choir knows, we need to take all the stands back up to the main building, all the, all the stands, all the instruments. And if you, if you socialize, we really ask you if you could move to the lobby because all the chairs have to be um, torn down. And uh, so I just want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for your support. Um, meant, meant, meant a lot to me. And... Uh, so just thank you very much, and God bless you. You've done a great job with your young people. It was a privilege to work with them. And so just uh, thank you very much. You're dismissed.